Jim, I think I'm Ric Flair like. I was born with a silver spoon. People think I'm limousine riding. Riding when the band used to be my room. They ain't knowing that I had a hard time. How you doing, guys? Welcome to Zuka Tube, and today we're gonna be reviewing a movie called Argyle. This just came out February 2nd of 2024. Uh, this is an Apple film. Um, so that's pretty interesting. We'll talk a little bit about that. It's uh, starring Henry Cavill. You see in all the trailers and all the promotional stuff with his uh, cool little widow's peak and weird box haircut, you know. So right away that uh, had me interested. Let's get into this, right? I'm going to go through, read this summary. Then I'll talk a little bit about it. I'll give you some pros and cons, give you my review and all that. We'll do a little bit of spoilers at the end. But before we get started, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, right? Let's read this summary. Reclusive author Ellie Conway writes best-selling espionage novels about a secret agent named Argyle who's on a mission to unravel a global spy syndicate, right? However... When the plots of her books start to mirror the covert actions of a real-life spy organization, the line between fiction and reality begins to blur. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. This film, right away, gives off, like, so many vibes of things I've seen before. Like, and if I... I okay. So, I'm going to mention two films, right? There was Memoirs of an International Assassin with uh, Kevin James in 2016. And then there was Lost City with Sandra Bullock. I think I did a review of that one from 2022. And yeah, like it's the most very like stereotypical kind of thing, right? It's this girl, she's writing a book and it's playing through the action scenes and then it rewrites the action scenes as she's rewriting it and stuff. And, you know, then things start to unfold in her life and all of a sudden she's involved in a real deal situation with actual spies and all this stuff, right? The whole time she's playing through this scenario, right, where she's kind of being thrown into a real life spy espionage kind of thing, she's like talking to herself and it, they show the character, Henry Cavill's character is like this secret agent Argyle that she writes about, right? And she, like, kind of talks to this character in her head and, like, sees him constantly, right? And when things unfold and she starts to encounter this guy who's trying to protect her that's, like, a spy, she starts to see him in this person. And, like, you know, so it all plays out and it starts throwing her into the, the mix of this real-life kind of, you know, good guy, bad guy scenario, right? There's a ridiculously huge cast in this. I mean, like, it's a, there's a lot of people in this that you would recognize, right? Let me read through a few of them. We got Bryce Dallas Howard. She's the main character, right? You got Dua Lipa, Henry Cavill, obviously. Uh, Sam Rockwell plays the secret agent that tries to protect her. They show some clips with John Cena as an agent in it that you see in the trailer. Um, let's see. Who else would you recognize? Sophia Butella, right? Um Brian Cranston's in this. Um, Catherine O'Hara is in this. Samuel L. Jackson is in this. Um, do we recognize anybody else? And and I think that's it as far as people you would recognize. But that's like a really large cast, right? And in this, they show that um, Brian Cranston's character is like the bad guy character in this. And the secret agent played by Sam Rockwell is trying to protect her, you know. And she's like this like fragile, like, you know out of shape kind of reclusive girl that likes her cat and that's how she spends her time hanging with her cat and writing her books right and she's kind of like in a constant panic in this situation right and it plays out about how you would expect a movie like this to play out a lot of the typical stereotypes for this like especially if you've seen the two movies i'm talking about you start to really figure out what's going to happen what characters are going to be what like it just obvious right so i mean it's funny though they've got some good jokes in it you know some of the characters are funny together and everything and and just some of the actors of course you like so you like to see scenes with them in it right you know because they're a lot they're a lot of fun in this it's like a comedy and um but really quickly within almost less than half of the film it unfolds into just this ridiculous over-the-top not even like fun, unbelievable kind of thing. And it's just, 
it's so annoying and the tropes in it are just ridiculous, right? And they just drill it home nonstop for the second half of the film. It is so ridiculous and I can't really talk about it exactly without getting into the spoilers, right? But um, you know what? Let's just give you the review and then we'll get right into the spoilers, right? Overall, like the CG in it is is kind of not so good. Um, some of the practical stuff though is all right, right? Some of the fighting is is not too bad. Some of the action stuff's over the top and comedic and and kind of funny, right? But um, overall, like this film, especially like I said, about halfway in, goes on a downward spiral. It's just. It's rough, man. It's so hard to deal with. And I would give this film a 5 out of 10. Yeah, a 5 because half the film is okay. I'm going to so I'll just give it a 5 out of 10, right? Let's just get into the spoilers so I can talk a little bit about this film here. Spoilers. Spoilers. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So you find out that obviously she was going to be Argyle and she was going to be this spy character that can do all this crazy stuff, you know, and she's so amazing and like this ridiculous, obese, out of shape, lazy, reclusive character that's just this ridiculous cat lady is going to be able to kick the shit out of everybody, of course, and she's the key to everything, of course. Plot armor out the wazoo, Mary Sue out the wazoo, everything you can think of with this film, and it's like unbearable. Once the second half kicks in, the entire film changes its tone and becomes completely unbearable. I do not recommend this. Again, this is like a 5 out of 10. Don't watch it. Like, even if you're like, oh man, like this looks kind of funny you know Henry Cavill looks silly like I kind of want to see it it looks over the top Henry Cavill's not even really in it that much he's in it in the beginning and a couple things because of these like weird scenarios of her writing the book and stuff in the very big like introduction you know part of it but then like after that there no it doesn't exist because she is him right uh and it's so bad it's so annoying don't watch it stay away from it absolutely this is a 5 out of 10. Don't recommend. Zuka 2 out. But I stayed all of my cartoons. Now I'm looking like I'm styling and profiling. And they take it to the chest like woo. Just like woo.